That is all <laughs> of my lip glosses that I could find. I probably have more shoved in corners. I know I have like three in my car, but it's like pouring down rain outside, so I'm not gonna go and get those. But I'm gonna do my lip gloss declutter today, just of the glosses that I have. I have a whole bunch of like liquid lipsticks. We'll do that later. But I'm gonna do lip glosses right now. Also, if you guys want to stick around, I'm going to do my lip liners after this. I don't have very many, so I wanted to do those after or, you know, with this video as well. So I will put a timestamp down below if you're only interested in the lip liners. But I just wanted to go through my lip glosses really quick and just kind of run through them, get these out of the way, and then I can stop thinking about them, basically. <laughs> <laughs> because I need to declutter them, but lip glosses are my favorite lip formula of all time. I love lip glosses, so they're just so easy to apply, so easy to reapply. They look great all the time. So let's just get through it, through this. I know a lot of them I'm only going to get rid of based on the color. So let's go. First of all, I'm going to keep all of these Marc Jacobs little minis. I just purchased these and I'm really excited to use them. So I'm going to keep these. I'm going to put all my keeps in here. Next, I'm going to keep my Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Papa Don't Peach. I love this one. It's super cute that it's got the little peach sticker on top, but it's definitely just like a more fuller coverage lip gloss. I really do like these, so I'm going to keep that. I'm already like drawn on what I want to keep. So I think I'm going to get rid of this Smashbox. I've never actually used this. I don't even know if I've swatched this ever. No, I've never even swatched this, so I'm not going to, but I'm never going to wear this like purpley color. This is in the shade Lilac Light, and I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to keep these two glittery Smashbox lip glosses. This one's in the shade Bear Light, and this one is in the shade Fuchsia Light. These glittery ones are so beautiful. I love them. I'm going to put the red one to the side. I'm going to put these to the side. I'm not ready to think about those ones yet. Let's get to these, some, one of the, some of these bigger ones. This is the Buxom Creamsicle, keeping that. This is Buxom Rose Julep, keeping that. This is Buxom Bellini, keeping that. So obviously I have a theme between ColourPop, Buxom, and Stila in my collection here. So I mean, I don't really venture out from formulas that I really like. So I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Okay, these two Lorac ones, this one is in Granny and this one is in Minimalist. I love these. I picked these up. These are like my new favorite lip gloss formula. I want to get a bunch more from this um, line, so I'm definitely keeping those. I'm going to start like, because the red ones, I don't need a whole bunch of red ones. So I'm going to just kind of put them together so I can look at them together. This is Buxom Sugar. This one's a beautiful color, keeping this. I'm gonna get rid of this purple one. It's in the shade Jane, and there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't wear this kind of color. Same, obviously, I don't wear purples very often. I'm also gonna get rid of this purple one in the shade Berry Bramble. I think it's Bramble, yeah, Berry Bramble. And same thing, I'm just not gonna wear it. Yeah, this is like the very like pink shade. This one is in this shade Berry Blast. This one's going to be perfect over the summertime. I like that pink color. This is the ColourPop in Nonsense. It is so beautiful. Like It's ridiculous how pretty this is. It's like a purple shimmer without having any kind of like base color. So it looks perfect when you put it over different colors. I love that. Keeping that. This one's a very nude color and it's in the shade Sandy from Buxom, keeping that. This one is Emma from Buxom. This is like a very like white kind of color, kind of like the nonsense. Let me swatch them next to each other. Yeah, 
Nonsense is very very glittery and Emma is very like a base glitter like you can't actually see the individual glitters like you can in Nonsense so I'm gonna keep this one I love doing these over liquid lips this one is the ColourPop and Hello Kitty combo. This is in the shade Super Cute, and it's like the same type of thing as Nonsense, only the base glitter is a pink color as opposed to the purple color. Love these, keeping. Um, this is one I haven't, I just picked up. I haven't really tried, you know, a, like a fair shot at. This is the Neutrogena Hydro, Bru Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Gloss or Lip Shine in the shade 40 pink sorbet and i think i put it on like one time look how big that paddle applicator is can you see that it's ginormous um but i i don't really remember anything special about it the applicator is just so big oh my god okay so i'm gonna try this one and try it out and see how i like it then I have this cargo blush, or cargo blush, cargo gloss in the shade Teos. And I remember I tried this and I did really like it. It's a very sheer nude gloss. It's very tacky though. That's what I remember about this one specifically. It was super tacky. So maybe I'll set this aside. This is the X Essence XXL. XXXL long lasting lip gloss in the shade. What shade are you? Why can I not find the shade? Here it is 13 Nude Mood. And I believe I've gotten rid of all of my other ones like this, but I kept this one because it's really like a perfect, like pinky nude. I think I'm gonna keep it. I like having like really good drugstore options, so I'm gonna keep this one. And I have my other two little sample sizes. This one's in White Russian. This one's in Dolly. Love these. Definitely keeping. Um, then I have this e.l.f. What is it? Hyper Shine Lip Gloss. This one's in the shade Fairy. I also have another one in my car. And it's in the shade... Um... Gosh, it's like a brown, like mocha color, and it even tastes like mocha. But there's this one there. It's such an interesting lip gloss color. It's not like that tacky, tacky formula. It's just, it's such a cool color. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is the shade Bash from ColourPop. Just got this one, used it one time, and I love it. Then I've got these two Buxom lip glosses. This one is in the shade Mudslide. This one's in the shade Hot Toddy. Keeping both of those. This is the Wet Wild Mega Slicks lip gloss, and it is in the shade 559 Great Correlation. And I wore this one time, and I did really like it. It's like a bright pink coral. Kind of smells like vanilla-y, if anything, but same thing. I just kind of want like a drugstore option, and I want to give this one a fair shot since I only got one of them, so I'm going to try this one out. Sorry if you guys can hear my son and my husband in the background. They are like screaming because they got a new game. So just so you guys know. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Bestie. It's like a perfect nude. I forgot I even had this one actually. So I'm going to whip this one out here in the winter time. That's like the best like full coverage gloss. I believe it's a cream. Yeah, this one's a cream formula. And the cream formulas have a lot more color to them. This one is in the shade Lychee Me, and this one's also a gloss. I believe this one's more sheer, yeah. So this one's a more sheer nude. I'll put it aside for right now. This one is in Lights Out. I couldn't remember if this was a metallic or a glossy. This one's definitely metallic. So keeping this one, but I'm going to keep it to the side. This one was an ultra glossy lip in My Jam. I actually wore this like yesterday filming yeah I was filming yesterday and I wore this and it is such a beautiful gloss over top of any color lipstick really love this one here oops I just shoved my finger into it keeping that this one is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte gloss which is like the strangest thing because I feel like glosses shouldn't be matte right I don't know but it is definitely like a full coverage gloss. 
I really like this, but I think I'm going to put it in my lipsticks because I feel like that's more of like a lipstick formula, even though it might have the glossy feel to it. It's very high coverage. So I'm going to keep this and it is in the shade 316 Statement Nude. I typically go for these kind of darker nudes in the winter time. So I think I'm going to whip this out here in the winter. Did that just could drive half of you crazy that I said winter instead of winter? Sorry. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. So these are the three I'm still thinking about. Okay, let's just finish up the ColourPop colors. This is in the shade Fudged. This is an ultra glossy lip. It's a much more dark brown gloss. I'm not totally in love with this. Let me set it aside. This one's in the shade Stain and it's more of like a red, like berry color gloss. Um, I don't know. This one's in the shade Dropout, and this one's a very dark, dark, purpley gloss. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm never going to wear that dark purple color. This one is in the shade Fairy Floss. This one, everybody loves this one. It's like a nude, like a perfect nude color. Definitely going to keep that one. This one's in the shade 9 to 5, and I have yet to wear it. Um, I got this in my recent ColourPop haul. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Holy crap, do you guys see that? Yeah, definitely keeping this one. Let's get back to these. I think I'm going to get rid of this one in Fudged. I don't think I'm going to wear that. This one I think I'm going to keep. I don't have anything in there that's similar to this. It's in the shade Stain, and it's more of like a like a raspberry color, I would say. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get rid of Lychee Me and keep the cargo one just so I can have some variety. And then this Smashbox one, I did wear this the other day. It's like a very orange color. It's such a fun color. I don't have anything like that in there. Will I wear it? Let me swatch it next to the Wet n Wild Correlation or whatever it was. Yeah, it's totally different. So I think I'm going to keep this orangey Smashbox lip gloss. So now this Smashbox red one in the shade Ruby Light. Let's see that. Yeah, that's like a beautiful, like, kinky raspberry. It's like a strawberry red. This is like a raspberry red. This is like a strawberry red. So let me put that one aside. This one's called Sangria because I don't need a whole bunch of red lip glosses. This one's definitely more leaning towards the pink side. Not totally in love with that one. This one's in the shade Nicole and this one's a glittery red. But that's like a glittery pink. Um, I think that one would be really, really fun in the summertime. And then this one's from ColourPop. It's in a shade Casino. I do remember wearing this and really liking it. Um, I don't need all of them. I feel like the Smashbox one is the only one that's like a, an actual like red red. So I'm going to keep the Smashbox one. I think I'm going to get rid of the color in Sangria. I don't really like how that looks. And I'm going to keep Nicole and Casino. I have a backup of Nonsense, which I don't need. That's Nonsense. So I'm going to get rid of that. I have two in the shade White Russian. These are both full size. But I wear White, Rus white Russian all the time. I think I'm going to keep them. Is that greedy? I don't know. I bought them. So I guess it's not really greedy. This is my full size backup in Dolly. I'm almost done with that smaller size. And then this is the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Aquarius. I haven't worn this one yet. It's brand new. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. That's perfect. I'm definitely going to keep this one. Oh, I have all these too. Crap, let me get these out of the box. Only a couple more left, guys. Sorry, I thought this was going to be a lot faster than it ended up being. Bear with me a little bit longer. And then I'm going to do lip liners, too. I don't have very many lip liners. I have very few lip liners, actually. So that's why I kind of wanted to bundle them up with the lip glosses to make it like a full video. So, okay, I think I'm going to put these aside because they're all like very sparkly colors, which I love for glosses. So let's go on to the Stila ones. There's... Four of them here that I have not even used yet. Um, this is like a sparkly pink color. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's in the shade 
fantasy and I think I'm gonna get rid of this because it is brand new and I have a couple that are sparkly pink in here that I think I can compare it to. Um, same with this one, that's like a baby pink. This is in the shade Grapefruit. Oh, I remember people talking about Grapefruit. I'm gonna set that one aside. This one's in the shade Dreamy and it's like a nude gloss. I'm gonna get rid of that. I have a ton of nude glosses. This one's a sparkly <laughs> color. It's called Kitten. I have to keep this because that's like their signature shade. I don't think I want to open it, like push it up yet because I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to keep this. This is a very berry shade. I don't like the way this is the applicator, but this one's so pretty. So much better than that other berry shade that I got rid of already. I am going to keep this one. This one's in this shade Kaleidoscope. Oh, this one's so pretty. This one's like a very just like clear gloss with multicolor like gold, green, yellow, pink, purple glitters on it. I really like this one. This one's in the shade Apricot. I wear this quite a few times. I really do like this one. Yeah, this one's like a perfect like skin color nude for me. I really like this. Okay, and then this last one, Grapefruit. I think I'm going to keep it. I got rid of two of them already and I thought I was going to keep all of these Stila ones because I really like them but I think I'm going to keep this. Okay on to the last bit. I haven't used any of these. This one's in the shade Furry. F-U-R-R-Y. That's furry right? I'm not crazy. Let's see. Oh that's so pretty. That would look so good with like a very nude lace dress that I have. Oh keeping that. This one is in the shade Tight Fit, and if you guys know this shade at all, it's like the most amazing glossy shade ever. This one's in the shade Flatline. I don't think I've ever tried this, but it looks very gold. Oh my god. Do you guys see that? Like, how can you go wrong wearing this shade? I am in love. This one's in the shade Playback, and I'm assuming this is going to be like another nudie, yeah, Nudie Sparkle Gloss. Love this. This one's in the shade Swinger. I thought that was the shade, but then I had to reread it. This one's going to be more of a, like, yeah, like a gray toned. This would look beautiful on, like, a super dark, dark, rich brown lip. And this on top, oh, it would be, like, the most perfect combination. So these are all the lip glosses that I am keeping. <laughs> I don't even want to count, but the ones I got rid of, I feel a lot better about. I got rid of a lot of like the duplicate colors and the purplies that I know I'm never going to wear. So I got rid of two, four, six, seven lip glosses that I have swatched and then three lip glosses that are brand new. So I feel so much better about that. And I feel like now anything I reach for in here, if I close my eyes and reach for something, I'll be happy with whatever I grab. So. Yeah, super excited about that. It feels so much better. Now I'm gonna go get all my lip liners, which is not very many. So this is literally all of the <laughs> lip liners I have. Let me just put them out here. Okay, and the rest of the items I have in here are eyebrow pencils. So yeah, these are all my lip liners. <laughs> That's why I wanted to add this into a video because it was silly for me to do it on its own. I'm just gonna arrange this by like color of some sort of organization of color. Okay, so I have reds and then like nudes. So this is the Laura Geller Pout Perfection. I do really like this red. It's like a very raspberry type of red. This is the Jonte Blue. This is a very red red. I don't love the Jonte Blue. This is the ColourPop. The ColourPop is the best out of all of them, clearly. This one's in this shade London Fog. So I'm gonna keep the Laura Geller and the London Fog, get rid of the Jonte Blue. I'm just putting it in my little used lip liners over here. This one's in this shade Button, and this is one of my favorite colors of the lippy sticks. Very brown nude. This one's in the shade Frida, and I've used this quite a bit. I actually need to sharpen it, but it's a pink nude. Um, then I have the Estee Edit in the shade 05 in the buff, and I do like this one. 
kind of drags a little bit. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of this. This one was really dragging on my fingers or on my hands. So I'm going to get rid of that. Plus, it's kind of like the combination between the two. And then this is the Real Her I Am Precious. I believe that is the shade I Am Precious. And it's more of like a purpley nude. It's so nice though. It's like a purpley pink. So I'm going to keep that one. So out of my seven that I had, I got rid of two and kept five. So I feel pretty good about that. That's it. <laughs> That's literally all the lip liners I have. I don't have many because I don't use them all the time. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. These are all the items I'm getting rid of. These are all the items I'm keeping along with my five lip liners. And make sure if you guys want to go and check out any more of my declutters, you can check those out down below by category. And give this video a thumbs up if you're still enjoying declutters. And make sure to subscribe down below and ring the bell for more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!